Hi, friends and followers. Well, pretty busy today working on work stuff, which for me is IT work. But anyway, here's this one, 700CX number two. I sold 700CX number one, which was a good, happy, clean, healthy swan. This one seems fine. It, it receives nice. It just had lots of issues with harmonics and spurious frequencies. So at any rate, the finals in this thing were a bit whacked, so I decided to remove the finals in this one and put some exotic tubes in it. So here we have the Amperex 7854 tube, and you might ask, how's it going to fit? Well, okay, so this socket came in today, and I, I didn't pay much for this socket, like 15 bucks. I found that I ordered a couple of wrong sockets, and those are over here. These are not going to work. They're too big. Too big. But anyway, this one will work. And I'm just going to basically take this deck out here. This whole deck unscrews. You can unscrew the deck right there, unscrew it right there, and then this thing has a, a, a lip to it, so it's about as high as the deck. So you might ask, I know what that sneaky guy is going to do. And sure enough, I'm going to mount this at about that height. And I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll, it'll be low enough. So yeah, that's, this is going to mount right in here. I'm going to take the deck out and just mount two of these. One there. And let's see if it'll fit. One will go there. Yeah, it'll fit barely. So two tubes, they're gonna go in like that. One socket there, one socket there. And I'll just wire it all up and we'll see if it goes. So that's the plan. Take all this out, put two of these in, put two of these wacko looking tubes in here. These are made for push-pull. I'm sorry, for, um, yeah, push-pull, that's correct. Anyway, I numbered the tube sockets because I wasn't sure how this worked, but I figured them out, and this just plugs in like this, and you're all set. So, one hand, I can't get it to go in, but trust me, it goes in there. There we go, let's see, come on. There, I think it's in now, yeah. So, that goes like that, of course, it'll go like this. There we go. So that's planned for this radio. And if it goes awry, I'll just revert this back in here. I'm, I'm probably gonna just solder the socket on, I think. Um, I'm not gonna drill holes in the radio. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna solder this thing on, so. That's, whoa, damn that thing. That's what I do. I, I'll, I'll just solder it onto here and, and uh, just dab it on with the solder. And that way I can get it back off if it doesn't work out and revert the radio back how it was. All right, that's all I have for today. Uh, the Tentec Paragon, this thing's been acting up. I had a diode that wasn't connected to VCC zero on it and I've been using it now. I, I, I talked to some guy in an aircraft on uh, 24.9 something. Let's see, this thing still works. I've been using this every day now, so it... Yeah, it's working. Memory tune function. Here we go. Let's see what's going on. Nope, I gotta go back down to the parking lot. You do that. At any rate. Looks like the bands are closing down. Although now it should be active. 40's active. Nobody on there. 
FT8. Well, that's booming in. And that's booming in. CHU Canada is not. That's coming in somewhat. And AM stations. All right. <laughs> Any rate, that's the Paragon one. It's on eBay too. So, if you want it, grab it. Thanks for thanks for watching. Have a nice day.